constructing this building here. Um, and in particular, we're going to learn to use the tape measure tool and how we draw with construction lines. So into SketchUp. So I've already changed the axes around using the axes tool here. So it runs parallel to the road here. I've actually started to leave a few buildings in just to give it a bit more of a sense of scale. Okay, so I'm gonna start setting out a rectangle. Now remember, if I point this in the direction I want to go, and then I type in the measurements at the bottom. So I am going to go along the blue axis first. So I'm gonna go 16 meters deep and let's go seven meters wide. Come back down. Now, one thing you need to set up is your units. Um, SketchUp is American software and Americans use the imperial system. So feet and inches, we use the metric system. So you need to choose either millimeters here, centimeters or meters. Try and get the hang of either doing millimeters or meters. Centimeters aren't really a recognized unit of measurement in um, construction or architecture. Precision, uh, that's up to you. I've set mine to two decimal places. That just sort of gives the amount of control I have over this. Um, length snapping's on. Okay, so I'm gonna create an L-shaped house. So I'm gonna push this up. Remember, try and get used to some of the tools, so push ball, so. Now, normally we're about three meters of floor, 2.8 meters, but let's go for three. So I'm gonna push this up, I'm gonna type the measurements in, I'm gonna go for two lots of three meters, six meters, and then a 2.5 meter high ceiling. So that's gonna be 8.5 high. Okay, now I want halfway up a floor coming out. So we're gonna use this tool here, the tape measure tool. I'm gonna to take this line and what I can do is move this up and down. Now exactly the same as before, I'm gonna say, okay, three meters high. Now I want another one at six meters high. So that's going to be the top of my roof. That's going to be my first floor. The great thing with this, previously we've been using the line to project things around. Now that works for a while, um, but it gives us loads and loads of bits to delete. The great thing about this is we can draw all over these and then delete them later on. So I'm just going to get my roof in to start with. Let's push those out of the way. Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about windows on the house. So I know now that that's halfway. I'm going to bring a garage out. Let's bring it out to about here. I'm going to measure every single bit of this because uh, I want to keep the whole thing moving quite fluidly. Okay, and that's so coming out. Yeah, seven meters should be fine. Okay, so now first thing I'm going to do is put some garage doors in. Now what I want is two garage doors that are the same the same size so sorry tape measure click on this line and I'm going to move this now I'm going to move it 40 centimeters in so that's going to be 0.4 remember I'm working in meters if you set it to centimeters you can just put 40 didn't seem to like that one ah I typed 40 and they're not 0.40, so 40 meters away, there will be a dotted line, which I can delete in a bit. Okay, um, now let's go three meters in from the edge here, and three meters in from the edge there. Okay. Bring myself a line. So, sorry, bring this line down from here. So what we're doing is we're grabbing edges, lines, and bringing them down. And now I can just simply trace over these lines. What it means is I haven't been thrown by the perspective, and the nice thing here is I can just go around, delete these lines, don't need that line anymore or that line, and they're all just instantly gone like that. Okay, now one of the things we need to keep making sure we do is this sort of sense of depth that our build gives it that extra sense of quality. 
Um, one of the things I could have done there, I'm just going to undo that, so I can start to push these this way, and I can also, I'm just going to type 0.1 and then 0.1 again, so they both now indent at the same amount of time. Okay, so I am going to quickly add some bifold doors up here. I'm not going to measure these out because I want to show you how I'm then going to lay out the balcony around it. So it's, that looks about right. And I just push those in a bit to give it a sense of depth. And I, I would ultimately go along and sort of put all the framing and stuff on this. But what I just want to show you now is how I can then lay out uh, an even boundary around the edge here. So we're going to create a glass fence. So I want my tape measure tool. So I'm going to take this line and I want it to come in, I would say about, oh, let's go 30 centimeters, so 0.3. And again from here, doesn't matter where I leave this, I can put it all the way over there. Type 0.3 and it will snap to there. Again, doesn't matter where I leave it, as long as I come in the right direction, don't head out that way. 0.3. Okay, so I now know where I, where I can put these around. So, starting on the point there, you don't have to start there. Now you can also use this with lines as well. So if I start drawing this line up this way, and I want this to be, let's say, uh, let's just say a one meter high fence. So I just type one, press enter, that line is now one meter high. Snap this to the axis and I can follow this round. There it goes. And I'm just going to make that point about the lines carrying on. So I'm going to draw that one. If you, if you find you can't quite snap to something, you normally just have to zoom in closer to it. Okay, so my line's going to come out here, but I can't see where it wants to go. So I'm going to press O for orbit, spin around so I can see where the line is going to end up. Press L again, or just click on the line tool, and it'll take me back into that. Okay, so I'm going to rotate back around here. And I'm just going to use the fill bucket tool. So I'm going to go down to glass, choose some glass, and click. click. Oh, it's a bit watery. And just get the garage doors, nice dark garage door. There we go, pop that out of the way. And there we have it. Now, remember, there was that line that I accidentally drew by mistake. And the great thing about this is I don't have to come up close to my model to delete all these. I can just sweep around out here and get rid of them all. And all gone. Hey presto. Okay, have a go.